final leg back for another amazing weekend in track and field. Make sure you guys check out the last video I did from the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix. Gave a couple highlights from that. But this time we're talking about the NCAA athletes and a couple other pro results. Jumping right into things. First, we have Julian Alfred competing as a sophomore at Texas. At Texas Tech, she competed in the 60 meters and threw down an amazing performance of 7.10 seconds. Of course, an NCAA leading time of personal best also makes her number seven all time in the history of the NCAA. So huge performance for her. She was also joined by Twanisha Terry from USC. She's actually the NCAA champion from last indoor season. Twanisha Terry managed to run 7.15 seconds. So that makes her number two in the NCAA this year. Definitely these two ladies going to be the favorites going into the NCAA championships as of now. Now another big mark this time all the way up at the Boston University track. We saw Tyler Day competing for Northern Arizona University. In that 5,000 meters, he threw down a huge performance of 1316.95 seconds that moved him to number three all time in the NCAA for that 5k massive performance for him definitely going to be looking out for how he progresses through the rest of the season Heading over to Baylor now, we have Casey Lightfoot, already the NCAA leader in the pole vault from last weekend. This weekend, though, he managed to improve to a huge personal best of 5.80 meters. Again, a personal best, NCAA leading performance, and that moves into number eight all time in the history of the NCAA. So definitely really showing that dominance in the indoor season. Now in the mile, we had Whitney Ortman, the senior from BYU, competing at the Dr. Sander Invitational in New York City. She managed to throw down a very strong mile time of 4 minutes 29.76 seconds. That makes her number 13 all time in the NCAA. Definitely going to see her really improving going towards those NCAA championships. Now we have Gleb Dudarev, the senior competing for Kansas. He managed to get to a huge personal best of 24.38 meters. NCAA leading performance in the weight throw, which makes him number 5 all time in the NCAA in the history of the weight throw. So definitely great performance for Dudarev there. Jumping over to the 60 meter hurdles, Trey Cunningham, the junior from Florida State competing at Clemson again. He managed to improve his NCAA leading time in those 60 hurdles, 7.57 seconds, definitely showing the improvement going for that NCAA title later on in March. Now back over to Texas, we have Makai Harris, the junior at Texas. He managed to throw a huge performance down in that 200 meters, 20.53 seconds, NCAA leading performance for him, definitely showing he wants to improve throughout the season going towards those NCAAs. In the 3,000 meters, we have Ryan Adams, a senior at Furman. He managed to throw down a huge performance of 7 minutes, 49.45 seconds. NCAA lead, personal best. Definitely a really strong performance in that 3,000 meters. Now in the triple jump, we have Ruth Osoro, the junior competing for Texas Tech. At her home meet, she managed to jump a great personal best of 13.49 meters. Moves her to the NCAA leading position and definitely showing the strong performance for this indoor season. Finishing things off in that women's high jump, we have Ellen Eckholm, the senior from Kentucky, already the NCAA leader in the high jump, but she managed to improve that mark to 1.86 meters at her home meet. Again, improving the NCAA lead, another personal best, definitely showing her consistency going for that NCAA title this year. Finishing things off with some pro results, we have Kenny Harrison from the United States, who went against Tobia Musan from Nigeria. Both these ladies competing at the Texas Tech meet. In that 60 meter hurdles, Harrison came away with the win in a world leading performance of 7.81 seconds. A Musan was not too far behind running a personal best of 7.87 seconds. So really strong performances from these ladies. Harrison, the 2018 world indoor champion, is definitely going to be looking for a defense of her title in Nanjing this year. Also at Texas Tech, we have Makaya Briscoe, the pro from the United States. She managed to run the 60 meters, winning in a personal best of 7.08 seconds. Actually equals her personal best and it's a world leading performance. So great performance for her there. We also had Wadlin Jonathan. She was competing in the New York City Armory meet. She she managed to run an indoor personal best of 51.71 seconds. World leading performance for her, definitely showing that in her first race of a pro, she's going to be making an impact in 2020 this year. Finally, from New Zealand, we have Valerie Adams in the shot put, competing in her home country and in an outdoor meet. Of course, they have summertime right now. She managed to throw 18.65 meters. Huge, huge performance for her because she's just coming off the birth of her second child in March last year. So another mother who's going to be making an impact in the 2020 season. Season. So she's definitely going to be looking to potentially go for that indoor title and potentially making the team to Tokyo going for a medal there. Finally, a little bit of news. Edward Cesarek, who just competed at the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix on Saturday, he announced that he's going to be going and competing.
competing for Kenya. It's been a couple years. It's been a little back and forth. He wanted to compete for the United States, but because of the legalities between changing your nationality and getting to compete for your country, he wasn't able to. So it seems like he's going to be competing for Kenya, going for a spot on the Olympic team. It's going to be very challenging. We know that the Kenyans do have a lot of runners who are very competitive, but Edward Chesarek, one of the best athletes coming out of the NCAAs from the past couple seasons when he finished off at Oregon, he is definitely going to be challenging for a spot on the Tokyo team. All right, so those are the highlights from this past weekend. Leave a comment below on any highlights that I missed. There's tons and tons of results that I probably did miss. Let me know what your favorite performance from the weekend was. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and we'll be back again next video. Thanks.